subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews. And today, I am going to show you how to clean up the cache file for Dropbox. So, real quick, I was having some memory issues with my home server. I have a video on how to make a Windows computer into a home server. But anyways, I was having memory issues and it was caused by this and um, I'm going to show you how I solved it. One of the things I did, and you don't need this, but it helps massively. So to use a program like Spacemonger, there's a couple others out there. But basically this shows you what is taking up all the memory on your hard drive and that way you can fix it because there's a lot of hidden folders and unless you want to spend all day and maybe not even find out what's taking up all the memory then yeah so this is the quickest and easiest way i know of there might be easier ways but anyways after finding that out what i did is and, and by the way this is uh multiplicity for um it's basically like a kvm over a network and that way I can control the home server remotely on my main computer. And um, that's the reason why there's a horrible resolution. But uh, so we want to pull up the Windows Explorer tab. And we want to put in the following the percent home path percent slash slash all that. Oops. And there we go. And this will take you to the cache folder. And um, basically, what you can do is you can actually delete it from here. I recommend fully deleting it if you're going to do that. But the one thing to keep in mind is Dropbox. The reason why it has a cache folder in the first place is for emergency reasons. So if it's not causing a problem, because the problem that it was causing me personally is it was using, I think around almost 300 gigabytes of information. And obviously it shouldn't do that. So one of the things to do is just delete it and it will fix itself by creating it's another one. But um, again, it has it for emergency situations. So I wouldn't just go and delete each and every time. If um, that's the case, find what else is uh, causing the problem. Again, I highly recommend using Spacemonger or something towards that to find out what is causing the problem because it goes with hidden folders and all the other stuff. And you can get a full range of what's going on. And, and um, in fact, in this case, I can actually see that I got uh, 200 and some odd gigabytes of video, but also this is a security camera server too, so yeah. But anyways, as far as then feel free to leave them down there in the comment section, and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. If you like this, then please leave a like, subscribe, share. If you don't like it, then go ahead and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos, and go ahead and leave a dislike and, um, and so on. But again, comments, questions, whatever, you know where to get me. And I uh, hope you have a great day.